This is a story. About Southern Mississippi. Hey guys, it's Gearnut Jim here, and I'm going to do a quick sort of unboxing, quick look at a first aid kit that I just purchased off of Amazon. You guys may have seen these on Amazon. They're labeled Best First Aid Kit. And the one thing that sort of separates them from some of the other ones that are red is this right here. It says Fire Gear Rocks. So you'll know this one from some of the other ones. And uh, this was around $17. I'm going to give you a quick look at the hard case that it has here. You'll notice that it's about eight and a half inches across. It's about five and a half inches this way, and it's pretty thick. It's about two and a half inches in width. Case looks really nice, and uh, let's see what's inside. Let me get, make sure this gets in the camera here. Is that gonna fit? Yeah. So I'm gonna flip it this way. On the left, my left, this here, we have a little first aid manual. It covers the basics of things like burns and broken bones and minor injuries and what to do in an emergency. Um, so good overview to have in there. There are lots of great first aid texts that I'm sure you guys are familiar with that you can include in here. I'm going to go through the contents really fast. We've got um, a medium to large size gauze. We have wound dressing. We have an iPad. We have sterile gauze swab. Another iPad. Sterile gauze swab. Let's see, we've got a smaller, uh, this is a two by two gauze pad. One, two, three, four of those. Doctor brand bandages. By the way, I believe at, at uh, $17, this whole kit I'm sure was assembled in China. The, the brand of Band-Aid here, which is Pipal Tree, never seen before. Um, but um, let me pop one of these out and just see what the quality level is of the Band-Aid, because that's a decent indicator as to the quality of the other items. You guys probably know this. Uh, when you go to the, the grocery store and you buy Band-Aids, there's a huge range of quality of band-aids some of them don't stick very well some of them are hard to get off um, and everything in between so this uh, the sticky factor on this from a scale of one to ten seems like it's about a six it's decent they are cloth band-aids which is which is nice uh, we'll see if it stays on my finger during the review one thing you can add to your kit two things i'd recommend adding to your kit uh, one is uh, a little bit of duct tape. So if you have band-aids like this or you're sweaty or wet, they don't stick very well. You can put your antibiotic ointment here and then wrap a little duct tape around there to make sure the band-aid stays on. Also, I like to add band-aids with some fun colors like maybe, um, oh, I don't know, maybe um, superheroes or Disney characters or something like that just to brighten someone's day if they've gotten a little cut or a little bang. Um, we've got... Um, this uh, vinyl glove here, I will probably, a pair of vinyl gloves, I will probably add uh, additional nitrile gloves. Those are my preferred uh, kind of uh, glove. Let's see, we have alcohol pads, 70% isopropyl. Got a handful of those, good to have. Sting relief, uh, this is 6% benzocaine. And there's, uh, looks like three of those. Very handy if you get stung by a bee or something like that. We have uh, alcohol-free cleansing wipes, so uh, it's a different uh, chemical makeup here. I assume that it's one that won't sting. Looks like these may be from, um, well, it's in two or three different languages. So I thought they might be from the UK, but they're probably also from China. Again, I think at this price point, $18 for this much stuff in the case, probably all Chinese. Okay, we've got um, the X-style, sort of knuckle-style adhesive bandages here. Different varying kinds of adhesive bandages. Uh, these are, assuming that they're all decent stick quality, you'd want to test one of these out like I'm doing with this Band-Aid here because 
when you get out in the field and something happens, or if you have this in your car and you got to cut or scrape, if they don't stick, uh, you kind of want to know ahead of time it's good to replace them. The tweezers that came with them are decent. Uh, they'll be replaced with much better. They do grab my skin, as you can see, so that's pretty good. Um, I like the really sharp ones uh, with the, that allow you to get splinters out, um, so I'll add that. We have some safety pins here, um, and uh, those are useful for a bunch of stuff. These scissors here that came with them, if you guys, I'm sure you probably have a, a set of these. They're very handy. I have several sets of these. And um, uh, these things can cut a penny in half um, if uh, you have a decent pair of them. So they're very strong. They're good for like cutting through all kinds of uh, cloth. If you're trying to cut someone's uh, clothes off to get to a certain uh, part of the body, great for cutting bandages. A little survival whistle here. I like this. Um, it's uh, aluminum. Give it a quick blow. <laughs> Okay, sounds pretty good. I didn't blow it super hard, but it works great. This carabiner here is designed, I assume, to attach to this little part right here. A little tag right there so you can clip it to your bag. You know, if you put this on the back of your bag up high, um, you'd really stand out, which might be good. Uh, so if, you, if you imagine this, this big uh, red uh, symbol on the back of your pack as you're hiking along, um, this might give you some nice visibility if that was your uh, goal. Over on this side, we have a conformable elastic bandage in a roll, made in China. We have two rolls of tape. Uh, I assume they look kind of like the same type. We have a space blanket, emergency blanket. Uh, this is great for all kinds of purposes. You can do a quick shelter. You can keep someone warm who's in shock. You can even warm up uh, sore muscles with this but due to the way it reflects the body heat back to you. This one is 130 by 210 centimeters. You can do the math yourself. Uh, for those of you that are in the U.S., we have a triangular bandage here. Um, this is um, a pretty decent size here. Um, useful for larger, um, uh, either large wounds, or you could use this for a splint, like an arm splint. Okay. And lastly, we have an ice pack here. This is a chemical type ice pack. You shake it, you squeeze the chemical out of it, and you mix up the contents, and then uh, it turns cold. It's disposable after that. So all in all, a pretty good kit for $18. Uh, this uh, Band-Aid has stayed on during this uh, quick review, so that's, a, that's you know, the Band-Aids are decent. Uh, I would add antibiotic ointment to this. Uh, it would be the first thing I would add, and a pain reliever would be the second thing I would add immediately. Uh, and perhaps some different kinds and higher quality Band-Aids with fun colors and superheroes and Disney characters. I really like those because... Uh, um, deal with kids a lot, and also they uh, brighten up the day even of an adult. One advantage that I wanted to add to these red kits with the big cross on them is that if you say to someone, go get the first aid kit, and they're digging through a bag or your car or whatever, everyone knows what this is when they see it. I've looked at some pretty cool black tactical first aid rolls, and while they're neat, I, for day-to-day -day use and for just about every other kind of use, I like this concept better, no matter what the size, because it's very clear what it is. So something to think about. If you guys can think of anything you feel strongly about that I need to add to my kit, please leave it in the comment field. And as always, please like and please comment and please subscribe. This is GearNut Jim, signing off.